Welcome, my dear student, to our commercial subject group level 3 with account 212. Our chapter today is chapter 4, the depreciation of plant assets, and we will cover the unit of activity. By the end of our lesson, you should be able, my dear student, to compute the depreciation expense by using unit of activity method, explain the depreciation for partial year and change in estimate. And finally, we will end with adjusted entry for depreciation expense. First, let's take an idea about the unit of activity or the production. Under the unit of activity method, the useful life expressed in the term of the tot total unit of the production or the use expected from the assets rather than a time period. The unit of activity method is ideal suited to factory machinery. Manufacturing company can measure production in units of output or in machines hours. This, this, this method can also be used for such assets as delivery equipment, the meals driven or airplanes the hours in use. The unit of activity method is generally not suitable for building or furniture. Why? Because the depreciation for these assets is more a fraction of time than of use. Let us explain the unit of activity by this example. The following data for a delivery truck purchased by Ahmed Kambani on January 1st, 2018. Here we have the cost price, the freight cost, the tax, and the estimated salvage value, estimated salvage value, estimated salvage life in years, and estimated useful life in meals, and also the distributed meals during the five years. What's required from you, my dear student? Firstly, Compute the annual depreciation expense, accumulated depreciation, and the net bulk value for five years. The useful life under the unit of a production or the unit of activity. Secondly, prepare the adjusted entry for year 2018. Let us try to answer this question. First step, I should find the cost. Here I have the cost price, I have the freight cost, and I have the cost, the tax. If I take all these three figures, I will find the cost with a total of 45,000. Then I should find the depreciation cost per, the, per unit. How can I get this cost? I should take the cost minus the salvage value over the total unit of production. My cost is 45,000 minus the salvage value that I have it on the question, which is 3,000, divided by the total unit of a production, also I have it on the question. And I will get the depreciation cost per unit. The second step, my dear student, I should find the depreciation expense, and I and I will find it by applying this formula. The depreciation cost per unit multiply with the unit produced in the period. By applying this table, I can see on the first column, I should write the period. Then I should write the number of units and they are given on the question. I have the number of units during the five years. Then I will Multiply it with the depreciation cost per unit, the, the cost I find it before. When I take the number of units, multiply it with the cost of uh, the depreciation cost per unit, I will get the depreciation expense. Then moving to the accumulated depreciation, for the first year I don't have depreciation expense before, so it will be the same for the first year. Shifting to the book value, the book value, I should take the cost minus the accumulated 
depreciation. My cost is 45,000 minus the accumulated depreciation for the first period, which is 12,600. I will get the book value with amount of 32,400. Moving to the second period with number of unit, which is 25,000. Also, I will multiply it with the depreciation cost per unit, getting the depreciation expense with amount of 10,500. Moving to the accumulated depreciation, I should take the accumulated depreciation for the, the previous year, add it to the depreciation expense for the current year, and I will get the accumulated depreciation for this year. And I will continue like that for all the periods. If I want to write the adjusting entries for the depreciation expense, so on the debit side, I will write the depreciation expense and I will mention for the delivery track and they want it for the year 2018. So the depreciation expense for the first period will be the depreciation expense as 12,600. I will write it on the debit side with 12,600. On the credit side, I will write the accumulated depreciation and also I will write it with the amount of the depreciation for that period. Now, my dear student, we will take another example. We have here the example. What's required from you, my dear student? Required to compute the annual dep depreciation expense, the accumulated depreciation, and the net book value for five years useful life under the following methods. Firstly, straight line method, double decline method, and the unit production, and also required to prepare the adjusting entries. In our example, we have here the details. I purchase a machine with a cost of 84,000, and the estimated salvage value will be 4,000 at the end of four, four years of the useful life. The total unit of a production is 160,000, and the machine is expected to use for this uh, unit during the four years. Firstly, I should compute the depreciation cost. I will take the cost minus the salvage value. I will get the cost of 80,000. The annual depreciation expense will be 80,000 over the useful life, and I will get the 20,000. I will apply this formula under the straight line method. Then, I will find the depreciation expense for each period by using our schedule. For the first period, the depreciation expense will be, the depreciation cost will be 80,000 and it will be fixed for all the period. The useful life for me, for the first period, I should notice the purchase was on September 30, 2018. It's not from the beginning of the years. So, it starts from October until the December. From October until December, it can be three months. So, I will take the rate for uh, the useful life, multiply with the number of months, which is three over 12. 80,000 divided by four, the useful life, multiply it by the... Um, the time, which is three months over 12, I will get the depreciation expense of 5,000. Moving to the accumulated depreciation for the first period will be the same. Shifting to the book value, I should take the cost, which is 84,000 minus the accumulated depreciation for this year, which is 5,000. I will get the book value of 79,000. Shifting to the next period, my dear student, I will take the cost, the depreciation cost, I will divide it by the useful life, and I will get the depreciation expense of 20,000. 
to find the accumulated depreciation, I will take the previous accumulated depreciation plus the depreciation of this year, and I will get the accumulated depreciation for this year, and I will continue like that for the rest of period until I reach the, the last period. I will add more one year just to take the remaining period, which is nine months. I will take the depreciation cost, 80,000, divided by the useful life, multiply it with the remaining period, which is nine months. I will get the depreciation expense of 15,000. When I check the period, this is one, two, three, and this is the fourth period. Now, we will move to write the adjusting entries. On the debit side, I will write the depreciation expense for the machine with amount of. They want it for the first period. So, the depreciation expense for me for the first period will be 5,000. I will write the 5,000 for the depreciation expense. Moving on the credit side with accumulated depreciation, also I will write the amount of the depreciation for that period because that I take the 5,000. Here we have a note. The company would own the machine for three months of the first year. It has used the machine for September 30, 2018 to December 31st, 2018. Second, we must be compute until 30 of September 2000, 2022, so it will be nine months, and we explain it before in the schedule. Then, my dear student, we will move to the unit of activity or production. We will compute the annual depreci depreciation expense for our example. On 30 of September 2018, Ahmed Company also purchased a machine with 84,000. The same example we take it before. If I want to find the depreciation expense under this method, firstly, on the first step, I should find the depreciation cost per unit. And I will apply the formula that I explained it before. The cost minus the salvage value over the total units of a production. My cost will be 84,000 minus 4,000, the salvage value, over 160,000, the total unit of a production. And I will get this, the amount of the cost per unit. Then I should find the depreciation expense by using this formula. The depreciation cost per unit multiplied by the unit in each period. We will apply it by our schedule. For the first, I can skip the first period because they mention on 30 of September 2019. The period, it's not important for me. The important is the unit of production that I have it. So, on the first unit of production, the 60,000, I will multiply it with the depreciation cost per unit. I will get the depreciation expense with amount of 30,000. The accumulated depreciation for the first period will be equal, so it will be 30,000. Shifting to the book value, I should take the cost, which is 84,000 84, minus the accumulated depreciation for this period, which is 30,000. And I will get the book value of 54,400. And I will continue with the same manner for the remaining period. If I move to write the general journal for this, this transaction, I will write on the debit side the depreciation expense for the machine with amount of 30,000 for the first period. And the accumulated depreciation on the credit side also will be 30,000 because for the same period. Now, my dear student, you can take a look to compare between the depreciation method. In this schedule, we can see the different amount 
between the three method of the depreciation expense on the straight line method, on declining method, and finally on the unit of activity. By that, my dear student, we reach the end of our lesson. Thank you for your attention. And for more information, you can visit Ministry of Education website or you can answer the question that you have it on your book. Thank you and see you on the next lesson.